You like to go shopping. Yes. I like to go shopping. You probably want to take Google Shopping with you because you have things to do. You're a multitasker. You're a woman on a mission, right? Yes. Okay. Can we afford to have Google pull you down the, the, the stairs? But you also have another concern. That is you're going to have an infant with you periodically while you're shopping. Exactly. Okay, you're a master multitasker. We need somebody to totally be dialed into your movement. So, when you're going to go down some stairs, let's imagine the stairs are in front of me. Get Google to sit. We're teaching Google to be patient and must wait. This way, you start in front of your dog. If you start back here, you're starting even with your dog, and that gives Google an opportunity to take a step with you. Okay? And it'll, it will be a little awkward at first, but once you get used to it and Google understands, right piece of cake. So you want to have the dog set up behind you. To practice this, put the leash behind your back, okay, and hold on to it fairly short, but not too short where Google will trip on your heels, all right? And then you want to have tension on the leash, and Google might sink down and go, well, I don't want you to take control, so you will have to take a first step with, with some consistency and some tenacious behavior to say, yes, I'm going to win. Hear me roar, I'm woman, right? <laughs> so when, when you say that, then you take that first step down and go. Okay? And when you have Google behind you, Google can't get in front. Google might be able to sneak her head up around your knee, <laughs> or like that, but Google cannot get in front. You do not want to give Google all this leash to have six feet to go, woohoo, I'm going to chase that sparrow. Alrighty, so you, you need to slow it down, educate Google what your needs are, what is required. And when Google understands that with your consistency, then it'll be a no-brainer for her. So remember, when you're going to go down the stairs, always put her behind you. Okay. Alrighty, get her into a sit so that gives you an opportunity to get going before she starts to pop up and move with you. Cut her off, zigzag if you need to. Hold on to a railing because you're pregnant. Okay, be fancy on your toes. Woohoo! All right? <laughs>